Good morning guys! Welcome back to my channel! This is the for this video since we are finished or I mean some of the states are already finished with MIGO event and soon we will have the next season for that and they are calling it world event or rather I'm calling it the mushroom era because all the buildings, all the including the capital as well as the bunkers and facilities are full of mushroom and even the items that you need to collect here is made of mushroom. So for this video, I'm going to give you tips on how to maximize your Yet Station. So as you can see here, we have the Yet Center. And then on the top of that, you can see here the buffs that you get by doing some research or upgrading the machine inside your Yet Center. So here, I have the Defense Bonus and Capital, Damage Bonus and Capital, as well as Health Bonus and Capital. All right, so let's go to our YET Center, or let's enter the YET Center, and once you're here, the interface is pretty similar to MIGO, as well as some of the gameplay for this one. So this is a three-month event that is split into every week, there is a new goal for you to collect. So from Season 1, you have the MIGO info here, you have the new item that is what they call the Yetomic Tin that you are going to collect. So the more Yetomic Tin you collect, the higher the ranking, the more Yet Glory you can get. So every week there are schedules for this one, and then the events are already aligned with this. And that's where you can get all the items that you need. But I'm not gonna go through that because the most important part here is the station. So let's go to the station. The Yeth station compared to Migo is different at all. So in Migo centered, we have this equipment that you need to upgrade. You go to the other one equipment or go to the other one to connect this to that. This one is pretty simple as you can see here. You only have four machines and then these four machines only got four different nodes to upgrade. And then with this one, the, this is the mushroom that you need to cultivate by upgrading all these machines and this of three or four levels. So this is the first level, the second level, the third level, and the fourth level. On the first level, this will be your primary and then you need a certain amount of progress for you to be able to get to level two. So your level two will be your intermediate, your level three will be your advanced, and then your level four will be your research grade. So like I said earlier that you can only go from one level to another if you reach a certain amount of progress here. So I was able to reach a 4,000 and now we can go up to level four. Before we go to the machines and what are the purposes of these machines, let's go to the effect first of the Yet Station. The effect that Yet Station is providing is different from Migo Guys. If from Migo it is more inclined into Capital Buffs and World Destroyer, this time for the Yet Station you will have your Resources Buffs, Gathering Buffs, as well as Underground, Shadow Exploration, some of the buffs for az Azurtain Heist, as well as the March Speed and Supply Hunting, and the Task. And then the last but not the least is the World Destroyer, as well as the Capital Buffs. So for these notes, I will be writing this or posting it on my website, the written version of this guide. So how are we going to upgrade this one? So like I said this earlier, this level is equal to primary, the second level is intermediate, the third level will be the advanced, and the fourth level will be the research grade. So we need to start from level one, and these four buildings serves as the first one. This is the biological collector. This is for upgrading or your speed for your resources when you gather your resources. The second one is your spore incubator. So this one here is for supply hunting speed as well as your intel task. The one on the left, on the top left, is your fungus cultivation platform which gives you, this is for the buffs for capital as well as the wall destroyer as you go higher for the level. And the last but not the least will be the sample analysis device that is for your underground shadow exploration and your Azurtain heist buffs. So these four machines here never change their setup. So this one here in the light bottom right is for your speed for gathering. 
The one on the top will be for your hunting supply as well as your intel. The one on the left on the top will be for your capital clash and then the roll destroyer buffs. And then the one below will be for the underground exploration as well as your ascertain heist buffs. So once you go to level 2, this is what you get there. So it will just continually give you updates like the higher the level of this one, the more progress you can get and the higher the effect as well here. Unlike Mega Station that you need at least 1 to 3 items to upgrade one single equipment, this one here and yet Station, you only need one item per machine and this is constant from level 1 to level 4. So for Biological Collector, you will need the Carrot Rhizom item to upgrade them. That is from Primary 1 or level 1 up to level 4. For Incubator, you will need this purple uh, juice. And then for the sample analysis device, you will need the fertilizer. And then the lower one, you will need the bones. This machine only needs one specific item and doesn't need any more. But I realized, or what I figured out, that it is so common to find these characterisms, but it is really quite hard to find the rest of this one. Although you can find all these requirements, all these items from events, but if you can see here, most of the rewards that you are going to get are the carrot rhizome. So that carrot rhizome is what you use to upgrade the buffs for gathering. Whereas the juice is used for intel tasks as well as your hunting supply. So this one, like for example, if you do your survival of the fittest blood sport, you need to rank up from 100 to 50 for you to be able to get the fertilizer. This fertilizer is what you need to upgrade the buffs for capital as well as for the wall destroyer. And then you can get that bones powder if you are by just doing the shadow exploration on your week 3. I will be posting the written version of this guide on my website for you to easier to to figure out of which path you're going to see. And before I go, if you want to upgrade your get buffs for gathering, you need to upgrade this biological collector. For you to get buffs for intel as well as hunting supply, you will need to upgrade your spore incubator. For you to be able to upgrade your wall destroyer as well as your capital buffs, you need to upgrade your sample analysis device. You need to focus on that. And the last but not the least, if you want to upgrade or boost your buffs for underground shadow exploration as well as a certain heist, then you need to upgrade your sample analysis device. So you need to focus on that. Like to upgrade this one for gathering, it's so easy to find carrot rhizome, but it's quite Traduce to find this fertilizer as well as the bones as well as the purple juice which updates or upgrades the buffs for capital clash wall destroyer azurtain heist as well as your underground shadow exploration so that's it for today guys once i already max out this station here i'll be doing or i'll be making another video for you to show how much is the max level and what are the requirements or I will be just posting it on my website, of course, at www.savagerygaming.com. So that's it for today, guys, and see you in my next video. Bye.